Fast Food Nation. Um, Fast Food Nation, famous book by Eric Schlosser, which was a, a sort of factual account of the terrible things going on in the burger industry. Um, this uh, is a film adaptation by Richard Linklater, who also made a Scanner Darkly. This time last year, Richard Linklater had two films at Cannes, Fast Food Nation and Scanner Darkly. Scanner Darkly is you know, opened and now come out on DVD. And this, which is only opening now, it's been a year, a long time coming. This is a fictional adaptation of the book scripted by Eric Schlosser and uh, Richard Linklater so out go the sort of hard facts in comes sort of soft drama out goes all the talk about McDonald's in comes fictional burger chain Mickey's the story is you see how they did that the story is Greg Kinnear works for the burger chain and is sent out on the road to investigate um, allegations that there is something other than meat in the meat and you will remember what the real allegations of this were it was this fecal matter. This is the, this was what the whole issue was about. And so Greg Kinnear goes out on the road and he meets a number of people. He meets disgruntled young students working at the outlet. He meets uh, ranchers whose businesses are falling down because of the burgers practice. He, he goes to the place where the meat is made, which uh, factory is entirely run by Mexican workers who've had a terrible time coming across the border. So we see all these strands, all these kind of traffic-like strands, all coming together in Greg Kinnear's journey, which sort of fictionally matches the kind of factual findings of the book. And in the middle of it, Bruce Willis turns up. Oh, good. And Bruce Willis... In a vest? Deli- no, not in a vest, sadly enough. And Bruce Willis delivers the speech, the central speech, about how it is that the burger industry works. Now, when I was in Cannes, I met Richard Linklater, and I said, you know, the most subversive thing about the film, which I thought was very subversive, was that Bruce Willis plays this guy who says that actually you have to put up with the fact that meat is full of poo and there's nothing you can do about it. And I said, of course, it's very funny, because Bruce Willis is famously one of the people that set up Planet Hollywood, you know, the burger chain. So it's Bruce Willis, Sylvester Stallone, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and they set it up. I said, I thought that was really right. And he went, oh, yeah, I never thought about that. Which is a shame, because that's the best gag in the film. The rest of the film, which is a perfectly fine piece of work, you just sit there thinking, we've had Super Size Me, we had the book, we know the factual stuff, do I need to see it again in the watered-down light version? I think that what they've attempted to do is to retool it, to aim it at a young, teenage, hip, and I have to say, in the way the film talks about fairly dumb audience, frankly, to make this stuff palatable, actually to make a kind of fast food version of Fast Food Nation that the young kids will somehow find, you know, that they can chow down on without it feeling like they're actually going through the, the effort of watching a documentary. It's not a bad film. It's just a very, very strange sanitization of a very hard-hitting expose of what's going on in the fast food industry. And there are moments in it that you think that's fine. There's loads of celebrity cameos. You know, Avril Lavigne turns up, Ethan Hawke's in it, Chris Christopherson's in it, and of course Mr. Bruce Willis doing the subversive thing that apparently nobody other than me noticed was subversive at the time. But you do get the sense of haven't we done all this and didn't we do it all much more hard hitting and I know certainly there there is a sense that okay you can't read the book you can't take the documentary so here's the the CBB's drama version of it